Hello, everybody. I want to thank God for helping me organize the speech of 2021 to shine some serious light on people with autism. Every year, April 2nd is known as International Autism Acceptance Day, and all of April is Autism Acceptance Month. My name is Devin Ray Hillary. I am autistic and mildly intellectually disabled as well. I am a former student of the Nyack School of Music at Nyack College Manhattan campus as a music major, especially with me being an instrumental musician in piano, keyboard, and organ. Since February 2019, I have been the MC for info sessions for a New York City organization called Do For One. Additionally, in November 2018, I created my own YouTube channel and recreated it in December 2019. And it was entitled as none other but Devin Ray Hillary, which is my real full name. I was diagnosed with autism at the age of two and a half years old. Since then, I have been struggling with abnormal difficulties and the power of hope and courage to overcome many obstacles. I have also been through many stereotypes and incidents of being mocked and bullied, scorned and rejected, ignored, misinterpreted, abused and disrespected, accused and misunderstood that I endured as an easy goal and quarry by others, as well as the ways I was allowed by other helpful people who believed, relied on, upon, and encouraged me. My life has been extremely abnormal and unordinary to other people. Most of them could not deal, have the interest or time, or even care for them in their own lives of usualness and normality unless they are human beings who are autistic as I am. Furthermore, my tough and stressful life with autism, especially with mild intellectual disability, has never been either dreamy, fake, made up, make believe, pretend, mythical, fictional, or even an illusion, act, joke, bluff, fantasy, or fairy tale at all. It has all been sincere and serious in reality. According to the website of Autism Speaks, autism is defined this way. Autism Spectrum Disorders, or ASD, are characterized by social interaction difficulties, communication challenges, and a tendency to engage in repetitive behaviors. However, symptoms and fear Severity vary widely across these three core areas. Taken together, they may result in relatively mild challenges for someone on the high functional end of the autism spectrum. Additionally, from the website of Medical News Today, it said that ASD stands for Autism Spectrum Disorder and can sometimes be referred to as Autistic Spectrum Disorder. In this text, autism and ASD mean the same. ASDs are any developmental disabilities that have been caused by a brain abnormality. A person with an ASD typically has difficulty with social and communication skills. Individuals 
with autism has six different varieties of repetitive or restricted behaviors. Stereotype is repetitive movement such as hand flapping, head rolling, or body rocking. Compulsive behavior is intended and appears to follow rules such as arranging objects in stacks or lines. Sameness is resistance to change, for example, insisting that the furniture not be moved or refusing to be interrupted. Ritualistic behavior involves an unvarying pattern of daily activities, such as an unchanging menu or a dressing ritual. This is closely associated with sameness, and an independent validation has suggested combining the two factors. Restricted behavior is limited in focus, interest, or activity, such as preoccupation with a single television program, toy, or game. And self-injury includes movements that injure or can injure the person, such as eye poking, skin picking, hand biting, and head banging. Ordinarily, no single repetitive or self injurious behavior seems to be specific to autism. Nevertheless, only autism appears to have an elevated pattern of occurrence and severity of these behaviors. Still more, according to the website of Autism Support of West Shore, there are three different types of autism spectrum disorders, which are autistic disorder, also called classic autism, Asperger syndrome, and pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, also called atypical autism. Autistic disorder, also called classic autism, is what most people think of when hearing the word autism. People with autistic disorder usually have significant language delays, social and communication challenges, and unusual behaviors and interests. Many people with autistic disorders also have intellectual disabilities. Asperger syndrome usually has some milder symptoms of autistic disorder. They might have social challenges and unusual behaviors and interests. However, they typically do not have problems with language or intellectual disability. And pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified, or PDD-NOS, also called atypical autism. People who meet some of the criteria for autistic disorder or Asperger syndrome, but not all, may be diagnosed with PDD-NOS. People with PDD-NOS usually have fewer and milder symptoms than those with autistic disorder. The symptoms might cause only social and communication challenges. Autism is also defined as three examples of different functional groups of autistic people low-functioning autism high-functional autism, and non-verbal autism. Low-functioning autism, or LFA, refers to autistic people with cognitive impairments. 
Symptoms may include impaired social communications or interactions, bizarre behavior, and lack of social or emotional reciprocity. High functional autism or HFA is a term applied to people with autism who are deemed to be cognitively higher functioning with an IQ of 70 or greater than other people with autism. And nonverbal autism means a person with autism who cannot speak. As a matter of fact, nonverbal autism is a subset of autism where the subject is unable to speak. While most autistic children eventually begin to speak, there is a significant minority who will remain nonverbal. Still more, according from the website article of Autism and Safety Toolkit Part 1, Ways for Family Members to Support the Safety of Autistic People, Autistic people tend to be vulnerable to getting abused and neglected, isolated and marginalized, be victims of crimes, and getting lost or leave locations without telling others, which is often called wandering or elopement. Unfortunately, such as myself, those matters for all other autistic people who were born and raised as blacks or worst. As a matter of fact, and better yet, this matter is where both autism and race would come in together. From the website Autism and Race, it matters with autistic people such as myself who are all either black, brown, indigenous, Asian, and mixed race people of color. Autism and race also have been helping autistic people by the intersections of disability justice, neurodiversity, and racial justice, and by fighting, building, and sustaining for justice, healing, and liberation. No matter how lethally too deep, offensive, and hurtful of this to be brought up and mentioned, the truth and fact of this matter are that autistic people, along with the color of their skin, have been a necessary concern to deal with nowadays. The Autism and Race website articulates the matter this way concerning autism along with both color and racism. For those of us who are autistic and racialized, we often struggle to find representation in mass media, academic work about autism or race, and that activist and advocacy movements that focus on autism neurodiversity, disability rights, or racial justice. Most autism and autistic organizations, publications about autism, and broader neurodiversity campaigns are predominantly white. Yet disabled black and brown students are most likely to be impacted by the school to prison pipeline. The vast majority of US prisoners are disabled 
at black or brown, racialized people are a global majority, which means that autistic people of color far outnumber white autistic people in the world. And the combined impact of race and disability severely increase the likelihood for hate crimes, police violence, all other forms of abuse, and repeated re-traumatization. Safety is a fatal concern for autistic people and our families. Despite the many threats to our safety, many of us lack the resources, support, and information that we would need to navigate our way around these threats. All autistic people deserve to be safe while living independently in the broader community. As friends or family members of autistic people, you can play an important role in helping your autistic loved one reach these goals. And finally, every day, many autistic people tend to be unemployed or working in part-time job positions or even working in low-wage salary job positions, such as in the retail and fast food restaurant job fields. Therefore, unemployment, part-time employment, and low salary wage employment have been common to autistic people nowadays, especially myself, unless they either attend a trade school complete a graduate out of college and grad school, or even attend the workforce system to learn how to work in a trade before making it into a full-time job position. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this speech are to all of those living with autism. I have to congratulate all families, friends and advocates, guardians and paraprofessionals, specialists, therapists and counselors, nannies and babysitters, supervisors, support workers, caregivers, doctors and educators. It is a very tough job, but fear is hope. I know because I have been fair and still on that journey. I give thanks and credit to the Lord and my family and educators because I couldn't have done it on my own. We all should treat autistic people as ordinary human beings without defining them by the illnesses they have. Also, we should allow them both their freedom and living and treat them compassionately. A whole planet of the earth may be tough, challenging, complicating, difficult, and overwhelming to deal with people who have autism, but that is no requirement or excuse for it to be either avoided, neglected, ignored, or refused, or even hopeless. Thank you.